Hi, this is North County PC Solutions, and right now we're going to be swapping out a keyboard on a laptop. Uh, this is an older Dell. It's uh, model number Inspiron 1520 uh, Dell laptop, um, and it's running Windows XP. Um, one thing about these older Dells is they were pretty hardy. They had a pretty solid case and a, and a nice keyboard and the, the touchpad and stuff is pretty lock, rock solid as well. Um, for the most part, the hardware on these will last forever. Um, it's a good little machine. Um, not a lot of memory or anything. It's, uh, it does pretty good for uh, an XP system. Um, one of the only drawbacks of this particular model is that there's actually four or five different keyboards for the, for the same computer. So before you go to order the keyboard for the computer, you need to make sure that you actually pull out the keyboard and turn it over and look at the part number first. Um, I've already done that with this one, so we'll go ahead and take a peek at that. Um, the keyboard for this was only about 17 to $20, if you look around. So it's really not bad, but you really got to watch your prices because um, I have seen the same keyboard for as much as $65. So you got to watch where you go to get it. They come packed pretty, pretty well. Shouldn't be any problems with it. Um, it's a good idea to look it over and make sure all the keys are there, none of them are loose or anything ahead of time. Um, and when you pull it, the keyboard out to get the part number off of it, you'll see um, when you flip it over in the back here, um, there's an NSK D9001 number on there. And that's what you're going to look for because there's actually, like I said, about four or five different. Uh, keyboards for this one computer, slight variations of it, and um, one of the keyboards is actually uh, about an inch and a half smaller in width, so there's a pretty big difference in some of them. Now, as with any computer, you want to be concerned with electricity if you haven't had any training in, in um, basic electronics or anything, uh, electrical safety, uh, you might want to kind of do a little homework on that before you try something like this. Uh, the main thing with the laptop is uh, I've got the power supply unplugged and also with the laptop you have a secondary power supply of course. So you want to make sure you also undo the battery as well. And then old habits die hard and uh, I also as an extra precaution after I pull out the battery, I'll also hold down the power and I'll discharge it for a couple seconds because some of the discrete components in a laptop can actually hold a charge for a while. Okay, I've actually kind of cheated, like I said, and I've actually pulled the keyboard out of this. Um, but the process is pretty simple with the Dells. Um, all you really need is a set of screwdrivers. You need a small flat and a small Phillips. You need to bring the, uh, the monitor down about as far as it'll go. And then you're going to start from this side of the bezel and pop it out. Normally, there's a little, you'll see a little notch here, and that's where you'll start from to pop it out. And then you'll just kind of work your way across. And this one's already loose. so. And then from there, this, you'll pull up on this side, and there's a couple tabs here that will pop out. And then when you flip it over, you'll see there's a little hook up here. And on this one, there's just a, a single uh, cable that goes in. So that's pretty nice, too. Okay, and here's why I went ahead and uh, replaced this one. Um, you could just probably fix the key if you want to, but I don't know. Sometimes the underneath the actual touch part on there gets worn out, so to me it's not really worth it. <laughs> it's better just to go ahead and do it right. Um, so 
just like you pulled the other one out. Gonna put this little guy in. So the first thing you want to do is and one thing I didn't mention too is to ground your fingers out on the chassis before you mess around with components inside a machine as well. Okay, to save time, I think I'm going to pause you for just a second while I wrestle with that little uh, connector there. Okay, after you get that little connector in there, first thing you're going to want to do is line up these tabs. And you'll see little grooves in here that those line up in. So, so you just start on one edge and then the other side. And then these little guys will just snap right into place. And that will tuck right in there. And there's only two screws on this keyboard. Okay, now that that's all snug, you can close it back up. your fingers.
Okay, while well that finishes booting up, hooks up the network card and stuff, let's go ahead and just open up the notepad and give out the keyboard a try here. Okay, while that finishes up, let's go over some steps again. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure the computer is unplugged and you're going to pull out the uh, battery in the bottom as well. Uh, after that, it's a good idea to Okay, the computer's booted up without error, so that's a good sign. It looks like everything installed okay. And we're just going to go down here, move the no no notepad down a little bit. Oops, it's a double click. Okay, so space and enter word. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Woohoo! Okay, so it was that easy. Just remember all the steps on this. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that the, the computer's unplugged. You can turn it over, remove the laptop battery as well. And when you turn it back over, hold down the power supply uh, button for about 10, 15 seconds to make sure you discharge any residual energy in there. Um, and that's about all you need to do to get ready. And then all we did was there's a bezel at the top here. Uh, there's a notch here where you start with the screwdriver, pop it open. And then you work your way around it to get to this side of the bezel, and this flips off. From there, there was just two screws up above here where the bezel is covering right now. And then it flips up and pulls out this way where these notches are holding in this side. And that's it. There's just two screws and there's a cable in there that you have to reconnect. Slide in, boom, reverse the process, and that's it. This is a really simple fix. Um, it's only about 15, no, about 17 to 20 bucks for the keyboard and about 10 minutes of work. Um, for anybody that's a little bit tech savvy, this is a really, really easy job and it's well worth it, especially with these little guys. I really like the Inspiron 1520 Dells. They're a hardy little machine. Okay, well, that's it for this project. If you'd like to see more, uh, go to NorthCountyPCSolutions.com or check out our, uh, our informational thing on YouTube, which is Things Nerds Do. Okay, this is it. Signing out. Bye-bye. Um,